Agriculture is Ohio's top industry. I don't know if you knew that, but with all those cities around, agriculture is Ohio's top industry. In fact, there are more than 75,000 farms across our state. But if there are those who live in urban cities like Columbus, there's a bit of a disconnect in their understanding of farms, even when it comes to the basics of where their food comes from. My next guests are trying to bridge that gap, woman to woman. It's part of the Common Ground Ohio campaign sponsored by the Ohio Soybean Council. Joining me today, Kristen Reese and Rachel Hemerill. They're both Ohio farmers, some of the best looking farmers I've ever seen. <laughs> Ladies, welcome. It's nice to have you here. Thanks for having us. I love this organization, this outreach called Common Ground. And I'm going to start with you. And uh, Kristen, tell me what it means. What message are you trying to spread? So Common Ground is a grassroots effort with women just like Rachel and I across the country who um, happen to live on farms and are farming alongside our, our husbands, our family members. But we just want to talk about food and farming, where food comes from, how we raise the products that we do on our farm, and bridge that gap between the farmer and the kitchen table. Rachel, what messages are out there that you think are just wrong falsehoods that you are trying to um, make sure that people understand the truth about some farming? Well, I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, a lot of people throw around these words, you know, mega farm and corporate ag and, and things like that. And 98% of all family farms um, in the country are still family owned. And, you know, our farm is rather large. But when you think about it, we've grown so that um, my husband can raise his family, my mother and father-in-law, and both my brother-in-laws can raise their families on the farm. So it's it's really, you know, farms are growing so that more people can come back and be involved in the farm. It's it's not that mega farm. It's still just a family sitting around the table making decisions. A farm is a farm. Well, and it's a family farm, and it's a little bigger than some of the others. Yes. And there are some family pictures of some of the farms. What type of farm do you run, Christian? We live on, we raise sheep. So we raise meat and breeding sheep. And then we also raise meat chickens and egg layers. And we have some rabbits and grass and alfalfa hay as well. Well, you got a lot going on on that little farm. And Rachel, what about you? Uh, we raise hogs, cattle, um, and then and grain crops, corn, soybeans, and wheat. So amazing that this is a woman-to-woman -woman campaign, and this is specifically um to, that that is why this was founded. Why is that so, Kristen? What's so important about that dynamic? Well, when you when you do a little bit of research, most of the people doing the shopping at the grocery store, the farmers market, are women, and so it seemed like a perfect way to target. You know, we are women working on the farm and targeting that person who's making the food choices for their family. And mm -hmm. so we just want people to feel comfortable in whatever decision you make for your family, whether it be conventional, traditional, agricultural, or organic, that you feel very safe and secure in the food that you're feeding your family. And there's the website, and some of that safety insecurity and some of those misnomers I know Rachel are one food prices hormones what do you have to say to folks to clear up some of those misconceptions well I think that if you have questions about where your food comes from you need to find a farmer and that's what's so great about our website is it connects you to those people because um, we're raising our animals with the greatest respect and care and you know we're doing everything we can to produce a great product for consumers so it's important to actually touch base with that farmer instead of just reading things things online that may not have come from them directly. And then, Kristen, what else is on there? Food safety, possibly, on um, the difference between lo local and organic? And yeah, I think all, if, if you have a question about food and agriculture, it's on the website. It's very easy to use. It's very user-friendly. It talks about local, organic, food safety, health. Um, it talks about antibiotics and hormones. So if you have a question, it's a great resource, and it's a great resource to visit. And then you can also find one of the Common Ground volunteers. And you can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, and both through our um, our blogs that we have for our families. Oh, wow. And Rachel, don't you find it that more and more people are becoming savvy about what they eat? They want to know. They want to talk to farmers. I mean, the local part of um, the farmer's market has grown huge. Yes, I think it's important um, that, you know, as a farmer, we also, you know, use resources to reach out to consumers because people want to know where their food comes from. So, you know, when we change the way we do things, it's important. You know, my husband just recently said that we're going to have to change what we're doing to produce more food for the growing population. But as we do it, we need to make sure we're informing consumers about how we're doing it. Because I think if people are just aware and they know how things are happening, then they're more confident in it rather than they feel like they don't know anything. I can't believe the other thing, how 24-7 farming is. Chris, people here in the city don't realize you really never get a break, do you? Those animals have to be fed and taken care of all the time. That's right. And Rachel and I talk about all the time that sometimes, you know, the animals really come first. You know, <laughs> we don't need a lot of times until the animals do. And so it's a definite full-time job. This is, Common Ground is across the country, Rachel. This is a you know nationwide group. 
Uh, yeah. Well, there's, um, Kristen, how many 15 states? states? 15 states, states are involved in the Common Ground program. And, you know, I think more states are going to get involved, um, you know, reaching out to get those volunteers. But, you know, we, we have the Common Ground, you know, logo on our shirts and things, and, and we're the, the main volunteers. But we really encourage anybody involved in agriculture, uh, big or small, to educate people about where their food comes from. I think that is a wonderful idea. And the fact that you're relating woman to woman, you're right. Mm -hmm. And then when I send my husband to the grocery store, I'm just never sure what's going to come home in that car. <laughs> Ladies, where can they find more information? What is the address? You can visit the website, which is findourcommongrounds.com. And you can also search on Facebook for Common Grounds Community. And um, our, has our hashtag for Twitter, I think, is Find Our Common Grounds Now. Oh, good. Twitter, too. Bloggers. I don't know where you people find the time. My gosh. No wonder you don't eat. <laughs> Rachel, it's a pleasure to meet both of you. Thank you much. Thanks Thank for you. having us.